Uh, opening day here against the Giants. Hey, new season. I think it's time for some new jackets. What do you think? These are awesome. I will say this is so nice and comfortable. It yeah. has like a nice fuzz lining, yeah, by the these way. These are the new we jackets can show that the this uh, off Padres a are bit. rolling out this year. This is my starter jacket. Remember back in the day, the starter? Yes, was of course. We're bringing the starter back. <laughs> I'm glad they're back. Uh, it's perfect for this morning because yes, it's it a is. little chilly, of little course, uh, but later on it'll warm up nicely. So you'll have layers. Uh, I would highly suggest layers. You know what I'm glad uh, back? Baseball is yes. back here at America's Finest Park. It's the Padres taking on the Giants at 110. It's uh, you Darvish against Logan Webb. Uh -huh. CBS Sports, by the way, saying that this is the third best pitching matchup out of all of the opening day matchups. And so this could be a good one. What's also very new is that Bob Melvin will be here, but not at all wearing <laughs> Padres gear. No, be no, no. Giants gear as the new skipper for them. They did a little switcheroo. Yes, and Mike Schilt, his assistant, <laughs> right. is now going to be uh, leading the, the dugout for the Padres. So, so some new changes, new season, new leadership, and we're one will. and one mm -hmm. starting off the season. I think uh, that leaves us in first place in the NL West. I like it. A fresh start, uh, getting ready for it all. Mm -hmm. uh, we do want to make sure that you're prepared, and I have this uh, to show you because this is a purse that I bring everywhere. That's the Padres purse. They allowed this in uh, in Petco Park. It's the right size, uh, and you could fit a, a bunch of things. Yes. I, I promise you can. Phones, the, the, everything cars. else goes into the diaper bag for the kiddos, though. <laughs> I mean, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, uh, with the baby, of course. So yeah. we want to highlight some of the things that you can bring into Petco Park. Bags are allowed, but you'll notice the size, 7 by 10 or smaller. Mm -hmm. Then those infant medical bags, those are also allowed. Of course, diaper bags, as we mentioned. Uh, outside food, you can bring it, but it has to be wrapped, so closed. Banners and signs are also allowed. Baseballs, bats, and beach balls, though, are prohibited. Yeah. So please, uh, none of those. Hopefully you catch a home run ball when yes. you walk away with a baseball. Uh, you need to get here first. So let's talk about transportation. If you're heading out to Petco Park for opening day today, uh, you can avoid the downtown parking and the traffic hassles because all three trolley lines serve Petco Park. Service will run every 15 minutes. To purchase transit fares, just download the Pronto app. And you're going to want to do that and get on that early mm -hmm. because there's so many cool things to see in and around downtown, not just in the stadium. I know uh, CBS 8's Regina Yurita is checking out a really cool spot that's going to be packed with people right. here in a couple of hours. <laughs> Where they're not just uh, talking baseball, but also bowling. So yes. different kind of ball going on. Uh, but Chris Groh, he is joining us. He's somewhere around here. He's been popping around throughout <laughs> Petco. Yeah. Uh, showed us different spots. You showed us the giveaways earlier, Chris. And we want all of them. They're so cool this that, year. That musk roll bobblehead <laughs> with his dog. Yeah. 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 Uh, so what do you got now? By the way, and, and the, the dog's bobblehead also goes ahead and bobbles as well, too. So I want to bring in Chris Connolly, the chief marketing officer here with the Padres to talk. We have so much to get to. So I want to bring you in right away because we're not only talking about what's happening today, but throughout the season and what's going on behind me. So, Chris, let's start with the game that's going on today. We have both the Padres and you guys are supporting another local team as well, too. So what can you tell us about that watch party that'll be happening? Yeah, well, the gates open today for the Padres game at 11. First pitch 110, but uh, at 4. 39 when the Aztecs are on we're going to have the game here on the 75 foot television monitor in Gallagher Square so that's going to be awesome food and beverage both during the game of course as well as post game watching the Aztecs and we love when fans are able to sell out Petco Park really give us that home field advantage but if they're not able to get out here they, they're watching a homer if the Padres are on the road a lot of people have been asking us, how yeah. do I watch my Padres? Big question. Yeah. We've got the answer. The same way you watched Padres on TV the end of last season, you'll do the same this season. Okay. Chris, the only exception is Cox Cable subscribers. They're going to watch on Channel 83 mm -hmm. this season. And if you want to stream the games, uh, Padres.tv is a great option. You can go to Padres. TV, sign up for $19.99 subscription plans, and you can see all the home and away games for 2024. And what would you say that, that you're most looking forward to with this year? You guys have, uh, it doesn't feel like a whole lot of time because spring training starts right away. It's pretty yeah. much as soon as, as everybody starts to go home after the World Series and so forth. But you guys put a lot of work and effort into making each season its own individual thing for fans to enjoy. Yeah. What are you most looking forward yeah. to? I, I think the most transformative thing this year for the fans is going to be the all-new Gallagher Square. I just saw this, Chris, finished on Monday. Yeah. Absolutely blown away. Uh, we showed the Tony Gwynn Terrace to Alicia, his wife, his son, Tony Jr. They were at a loss for words. Uh, we unveiled it uh, on Monday to the media. But uh, I think this is going to be 
incredibly fun for the fans as well as uh, for concert goers yeah. uh, in the year ahead. So we're very excited about Gallagher Square. A, a lot going on, Chris. Thank you so much you, for Chris. helping us out this morning. And of course, wouldn't be uh, a, a Padres hit if we did not bring in our Friar as well, too, to show off again some of the giveaways that we're going to be seeing this year. A lot of the memorabilia. So that is actually going to be next week, right? Yeah, that's, uh, yep. that's Monday, the poncho. That's next Monday, right? The poncho. That's the opening day weekend half that will be going away. That'll be today as well. That's tomorrow right? night. That's tomorrow night, right? Tomorrow, tomorrow night. night. Wait, we want to make sure we're as accurate as possible, right? We want to bat a thousand out here, so we make sure we get you guys all the right information. But go ahead to the Padres website. If you look up giveaways, you'll find the entire calendar there, so that way you can go ahead and mark that, buy your tickets, and you get some good free stuff. Guys, back to you. Absolutely. It's I really love the cool. City Connect poncho. You got the City Connect colors Isn't here. Isn't this awesome? I'm still rocking the brown and gold. Yeah. And then there's people that rock the blue and white. Whatever you're rocking, <laughs> rock it today. It's opening day. And rock it loud so the Padres can hear you. Rock it loud. <laughs> and we should because we've got some uh, great players on this team. We have uh, four players in the top 100 on the Padres. Uh, of course, we have Fernando Tatis Jr. We have Manny Machado. We have Xander Bogarts on that list. Hassan Kim is on that list. And the Giants, well, they have three of the top 100 okay. players yeah. in All MLB right, right now. Uh, so for the game, obviously we want to know what the weather is going to be like. No rain in sight for at least opening day, as we've been talking about all week. Uh, but that could change later on. Uh, Evan, let's talk about that. What's going on? What can we expect today? Yeah, exactly. Opening day and Friday, we're doing just fine. And the problem that we have on hand is what we see as we go into the upcoming weekend. Saturday and Sunday, both expected to be rainy days across San Diego County. But let's stay focused on the here and now. Today, opening day, temperatures are expected to make their way into the mid-60s by the the afternoon. We should between about noon and 2 p.m. make it to 65 degrees. That's expected to be our peak. Otherwise, though, we'll rest at 64 under partly cloudy skies with just broken cloud cover as we head through the rest of the day. But starting off the morning, a little bit chilly, mostly in the low to mid 50s. So a light jacket, I think, would still come in handy. Even as we get to the afternoon, if you're not in the direct sunlight, you'll notice it's a bit chilly out there.